You like Wordle and you're looking for more word games? Have you tried Spelling Bee yet? I'm going to teach you how to play it and we're going to play a game. Come on. So today we're going to learn how to play and play New York Times word game called Spelling Bee. I'm going to go through the rules of the game and then I'm going to go through the scoring of it. And then I'm going to go through the game itself and actually play today's Spelling Bee. So here is Spelling Bee. Here's how it works. Every day there are seven letters, six on the outside of this honeycomb and one letter in yellow in the middle. And the rules are very, very simple. And that is you need to make as many words as you can using these letters. Now, a few things. Number one, unlike Scrabble, you can use a letter more than one time. Number two, you must in every word include the center letter. Number three, dirty words and proper nouns and proper names do not count. Number four, the minimum word length is four letters. The maximum, however, is as many as you can make. You see this bar? It's going to measure your progress. The idea is to get from the beginning, which is the beginner letter, all the way to the end, which is the genius level. And as you add more words, your point scores will go up. Let's talk about scoring. A four letter word is worth one point. Every word beyond that, five letters and above, are worth the number of letters that you put into it. At least one word in every puzzle will include all letters. I like to just dig in, look at it, and get going on what I can find. And the things that sort of jump up to me immediately are card, Weirdly, for some reason, crybaby is coming up. I don't know if that's one word or two. If it's not, it won't let me do it. Crack, whoops, you can delete crack, C-R-A-C-K. Brad, as in a, a brad that you would put on a thing. And I literally am just gonna keep going through this, adding the easy words that I can find. Now you see this thing here in the middle? That's to shuffle. After a while, you're gonna get to a point where when you're looking at this, you can't see any words. And sometimes shuffling of it, makes it look a little bit better. How about drab? How about dark? How about back? And a few things that I always start to look for, in fact, I already see it now, is I always start to look at the words here on the right as they're collecting, and I say, is there any compound words that I could make out of these two, like card, card table, or, for, or something, for example. But in this particular case, I see yard and I see back, and I'm thinking backyard, B-A-C-K-Y-A-R-D. And you know what? That is using all the letters. They call it the pangram. So, and every day there's at least one of those words. So we've got that. As you can see on our list here, we've gone from nice all the way up here to 33. But I always try to get until I hit to the word genius. Even though I'm looking and can probably see a lot of other words like carry, I'm going to also show you that if you hit this, it shuffles all the letters. The middle letter is always the same. And then we get some other words. What I like to do sometimes is just sit and stare at a letter and say, if this was the first letter, what words can I come up with it? So I'm going to look at the C and go, okay, I can go crab. I can go crabby. Is it two Ys or one, two Bs or one? I don't know. Let me try one B. It worked with two Bs. I can go carb. Is that a word? Good. I can go caddy. I just actually played golf yesterday. That's a word. Okay, let's see. What else can I come up with? Let me try working with the B. Bark. We had that. I think we already had back, didn't we? Or maybe not. Yes, we did. Because we had backyard. I'm looking, a bar back actually is somebody who works at, at the bar. That's a, nope, that's not the word list. Or maybe I misspelled that. Bar, B-A-C-K. Nope, not on the list. Baby, because we had cry baby. How about baby as it is? Let's try now moving on to a different letter. Let's try work, working with the D. Shuffle it around, see what we come up with. We had dark. I know I already did that. Oh, I always like to look for daddy or dada. I don't know if dad has a word. It's not. I got drab. Let's see what else. Let's try working on the R. Rack, R-A-C-K. Uh, radar, R-A-D-A-R. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, racy. 
Okay, that's good. Let's shuffle it around. I'm finding a lot of small words. I feel like what I'm missing is a lot of the big words. Although I am already up at amazing. I am already one away from getting my my end. Let's see. A lot of times I also look at the words that I've gotten to see if it makes me think of other words. Like, for example, maybe there's a past tense or another way, a plural or some way to do it. Oh, for example, back. Another word would be a back, to be taken aback. So that would be one. And let me see. Array, R-R-A-Y. Uh, Abby. Okay. Nope, that's not a word less. Or is it A-B-B-E-Y, maybe? Okay. And this is where I always start to realize I'm about as many words in without doing some serious thinking here. Normally, I like to make sure I found the pangram. And in this particular case, I have. It feels like there's not a lot of other big words here. Uh, bard? As in Shakespeare, I'll tell you that's a word. Did I do card? It's okay to repeat words. Um, and sometimes I actually like to just try words I don't love, like Kaka? Baba? Nope, oh, that worked. Rara? Dada? Yaya? Oops. Kaka? Nope. What about something that starts with a K? Kayak. Kayak. Perfect. I always run out towards the end, and my goal is always to make it to the last one. Genius. How about baby back, as in ribs? I don't know if that's a real... Uh, yeah, that's a two... It's two words. It's not a compound word. How about... I did caddy. C-A-D-D-Y, right? Yes. Okay. How about cabby? Is that... Is that C-A-B-B-I-E or C-A-B-B-Y? Let's try it. Oh, nope, that was a word. Okay, good. So I've got 26 words so far. It doesn't tell you how many words there are, although there is, an, there is a link that I can leave in my description to a website that will help you give hints. In fact, oh, it's right here. It's called Today's Hints. And it will give you hints on some words. I usually get to the point where I really can't, see any other options so i just start to make up some options like let's try cray let's try bray oh that was a word oh and i reached the highest rank with 27 words great keep playing so this is not my favorite uh day this is, happens to be a puzzle where mostly it was made up of short four and five letter words i love a puzzle that has a lot of nine, 10, 11 letter words, words that take a lot of time to figure out. It's a really fun puzzle. It's a daily puzzle game, the New York Times. I put a link in my description below to find it. I really suggest you check it out. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of Wordle games. I have other puzzle games. I've got uh, all kinds of apps that I play. I have how-to games on board games. I have cribbage. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.